Hello children, how are you all? Hope you are fine and good. I am your teacher Dakshayani, handling biology from Bardasnar Metric High Secondary School, Arakonam. Children, today we are going to see 9th Standard Biology, Chapter 8. What is the name of the chapter children? Five Kingdom Classification. So, let us go into the topic. So, why should we classify the organism, right? Because in the earth, there are many living organisms, right? Ranging from bacteria ranging from bacteria to the largest whale whale means what timingalam right so there are very likewise plants there are varieties of plants even ranging from a small fungus to an entire gymnosperms so without classification it is not possible to identify all the organisms so why should we classify to avoid confusion between the organisms so the classification is especially based on their similarities right as well as based on the complex in nature for example all the in if you take in zoology phylum porifera like uh, the single celled organism especially the organism which possesses cellular organization are placed in Porifera and later on due to the complex in their organism later the higher level of phylums are classified. So now let us see what is a species and what are all the various levels of classification. So what is a species right the species is a group of closely related organism for example we all human beings belong to same species we are all homo sapiens likewise all butterflies together they belong to a same species all the dogs belongs to same species so the species is a group of organism which have more similarities and they have the capacity to interbreed among themselves yes human can interbreed with another human to produce the next generation so what is a species the species is a group of organisms with similar characters so next I told you some organisms mostly the only the species interbreed among themselves only but due to the advancement in the technology the cross breeds are also is there how the cross breeds are made by crossing the two different species for example when they cross a donkey and the horse they got a mule and one more example I will give you children like what is a liger? Liger, it is a combination of male lion, male lion and female tiger, female tiger. So, liger, right? So, this is the image of the liger. And next, what is a tiger? Male tiger male tiger when crossed with female lion female lion so tiger right so this is the image of the tiger these are all the cross breeds and one more example this is a geep what is a geep the combination the cross breed between the goat and sheep goat and sheep we get geep and later on when we see in plants right it is a plum it is a plum when the plum fruit is crossbred with apricot when it is crossbred with apricot it produces a new variety of fruit called as plum cod so the crossbreed is not natural it is man made and it is done due to the advancement in the technology so these are all the examples of the crossbreeds so next we are going to see the taxonomical hierarchy what is taxonomy taxos means arrangement taxos means arrangement and nomos means law so the classifying the organisms based on a rule we say it as taxonomy and hierarchy it is a level in which the organisms are classified in sequence for example here each one 
each unit we say it as a taxon taxon so several taxons join together to form a hierarchy so here species when compared to species genus is the next higher level family order class phylum and kingdom you should never change this order so this is the hierarchy of classification so next we are going to see what is a genus what do you see from this image children the wolf and the dog right the wolf and the dog they actually wolf belongs to different species and the dog belongs to different species but both the species put or uh, come together under the genus canis canis refers both the wolf as well as a dog but they cannot interbreed among themselves so genus we can say it is the next higher level of species next uh, the next higher level of genus is a family for example cats right for example uh, i will uh, tell you the scientific name of cat that is felis domestica felis domestica it is a cat and tiger panthera tigris panthera tigris it is a tiger they both are classified under the same family so what is a family it belongs to felidae so several genus join together to form a family tiger also belongs to the cat family so next we are going to see the order the next higher level is order right here these all organisms they may belong to different family but they are classified under the same order carnivora what is carnivora the flesh eating animals are classified under carnivores right we are omnivores because we eat both plants as well as the animals flesh so all these tiger uh, bear and cat everything and uh, orangutans everything wolf everything are classified under the carnivora so the next level of family is carnivores order so next uh, the next higher level of order is the several other orders join together to form a class for example all these animals belongs to the class mammalia even we human beings also belongs to mammalia why well, how it is named as mammalia because they possess mammary glands so cartilaginous fish whale gangaru tiger we human beings monkeys we all are placed under the same class since we belong to different order but we belong to the same class that is mammalia so next we are going to see the phylum many classes join together to form a phylum one example children here just you see here this is a bird which belongs to the class reptilia reptilia and it is a frog which belongs to amphibia class amphibia fishes it belongs to the class piscis and reptiles belongs to the class reptilia and the monkeys belongs to the class mammalia so they belong to different classes but they are placed under the same phylum that is phylum chordata what is chordata the organism with the backbone is classified under the phylum chordata so the next higher level is a kingdom kingdom it is the highest level of classification highest level of classification and all the phylums all the phylums join together to form a kingdom for example you just to see this octopus it belongs to the phylum mollusca it belongs to the phylum 
mollusca and all this uh, tiger reptiles and the birds everything we belongs to the phylum chordata so phylum chordata so all the phylums totally there are 11 phylums all the 11 phylums are placed under the single kingdom that is kingdom animalia so from this i will ask you some questions children which is the basic unit of classification yes very good species and which is the highest level of classification kingdom so what are all the things we discussed in this chapter children we discussed about the so what are all the things we discussed children we discussed about the hierarchy of classification hierarchy means what various levels of classification and in this topic we discussed about the species next to the species which is the higher level genus and many genus join together to form a family and many families combine together to form a order next higher level is class next is a phylum and all the phylum are classified under the kingdom so this is the hierarchy of classification so with this this session comes to an end children so far we discussed about the hierarchy of classification and why there is a need for classification so in the next session we shall see about the two kingdom classification and in the description we have given the study material and assessment for this lesson go through it practice all the diagrams given in your book children thank you